Hey everybody, this is the Cody Queen coming at you. Can't thank you enough for uh, watching my video. Last April I made a video as what is a jailbroken fire stick. I got an overwhelming response. It was great. I want to thank you all. Uh, but I got a lot of questions. There's a lot of been new advances, new equipment coming out. So I want to redo my video and just update you. So the first thing is what is a jailbroken fire stick? To the left you have the fire stick. Um, first off, I want to let you know, it, within a year, there, there are so many new streaming media devices out there that you now have a wide choice to choose from. Uh, one of the most popular is the Fire Stick right here to the left. However, my favorite, and I've replaced every one of my Fire Stick, uh, they uh, come out with a, what's called an Android TV box. It does have uh, the jailbroken um, program onto that. Uh, Apple TVs come out uh, with some so that you have a lot of more choices when it comes to streaming services. However, not every streaming media player can be jailbroken, so you're going to have to know which ones can, which one can't, if you're interested in uh, a jailbroken streaming media player. So that brings us to the second thing. Somehow it is affectionately known as a jailbroken Fire Stick or a jailbroken Android box, but that word it could not be farther than the truth. It's not jailbroken at all. I think uh, we've come from the term of jailbroken because back in the day, the iPhone, at the time when it wouldn't allow third-party software on it, that people would jailbreak it, which was totally against the law. You could go to jail. This, although, it, like I said, it's called jailbroken, it's really side-loading. The difference is the program that you add, which is called Kodi, K-O-D-I, is completely legal. Even Donald Trump can download it and not go to jail for it. So um, that's completely legal. So if it's something legal, you can't call it jailbreaking. However, I'm going to keep using the term because for some reason, affectionately, that's what it's called. So um, I want to explain to you what is a jailbroken um, streaming player and how does it work. Basically, you have to have a streaming device. Some of the smart TVs will go ahead and add uh, a Netflix um, uh, app to it or an Amazon app. However, you cannot jailbreak that. As smart as smart TVs are, you can't download anything to them at right now. Uh, you can, this is what I love, the Android box, and you can a little bit uh, with a lot of restrictions, uh, uh, download or side load, as I just said, um, the Fire Stick. Number two, here's the biggest requirement. You have to have a flat screen TV. If you're going to go ahead and buy a medium streaming player, then it now requires an HDMI port. Those are the new ports. If you have one of those really heavy, lubby TV that takes two people to pick them up and move it around, you won't be able to use a streaming device because the uh, uh, inputs in the back are totally different. Now, number two, and this is the most important thing, is that you have to have a fast Wi-Fi service uh, in order to do it. You have to tw have 12 megabytes per second um, on streaming off your wireless connection. If you don't, you're just going to frustrate yourself. Your movies are going to stop and start the whole time. So if you have a fast wire net connection, you are ready to go. Now, all require that you have to type in your Wi-Fi password if it's encrypted. So no matter what you buy, you just type in what your, your Wi-Fi code is. This is one thing I love the Android box for. Once you type it in, you're off and running. You could start streaming the um, you can watch, look at Cody, and um, you could do so much more. Here, it's an added step. You have to be registered with Amazon. You don't have to be a Prime player, but you have to be registered with them. So then you're going to have to type in your username and password, just another extra step. The final thing, before we take a look at Cody, so I could show you what Cody is, is I cannot believe how many questions I get from people saying, I'm using this uh, TV service or cable service or uh, satellite service. This has nothing to do with it. They don't even work in conjunction. Remember, when you have these devices, you're running off the internet. You're downloading what is offered on the internet. Your cable company and your satellite uh, provider, they, are, they don't run on the internet. They run on a coaxial cable that's normally brought into your house. So 
it doesn't matter. You don't even have to have a television provider. You don't need a cable provider, and this will still work, just like a DVD will work. You stick a DVD into your TV, you're going to just watch movies or listen to a CD. It has nothing to do with your cable provider. Now, um, we're going to go ahead. Like I said, Cody's absolutely for free, but of course there's a catch to it. Um, you have to know how to program Cody. So you could get the program for free. So it would be like uh, getting, um, let's say, Microsoft Word, but only the DOS or the coding part of it, and then you have to figure it out. So why don't you follow me? Let's take a look at the what I call the bare bones version of, of Kodi, and then I want to show you my build. I'm really proud of it. Uh, you want something really easy to use uh, that you don't have to think about uh, what you're doing. You sit in front of your TV, turn it on, click on a movie, and you're off and running. So let me show you. I hope you have a couple more minutes. Okay, everybody, this is what Cody really looks like. Kind of just shocking compared to probably what you've seen on uh, the Internet. But this is the true software program. Again, they don't really have very many third-party apps themselves. Uh, it's the other people, companies, people like you and I who make the third-party apps. They just use this software program. It's mostly, uh, Cody's an open source, so that means you could add things to the software. And they have made a program that they have more home entertainment in, in mind. So, again, when you buy the boxes on the sticks on the Internet from anywhere from $55 to $100, Pretty much, you better take a look at those ads and really zoom in because if the pictures look like this, then they're assuming that you know how to add add-ons in and know how to program. But here you could upload your own pictures, you could download pictures if you know how to program the weather, uh, you could add your videos here of um, your family videos or download videos from the internet. Uh, you could add your own music if you know how to do it. And then here are the rest of all the system folders for you to, you need all of these below, both these, in order to um, add third-party apps. So if you don't know how to do that, I would say stay away. But let me, so I, I consider this the bare bone version. This is, this is how Cody looks. But I'm now going to show you what the third-party apps are that Cody, and I really want to say this, Cody has no relationships uh, for third-party apps unless it is their own. So the ones I'm going to show you are the apps that are, are commonly used that, that uh, Cody doesn't make. If you go on and you see an ad on any internet site asking you to buy this and you see this blue bubble screen, last time I saw bubbles like that was from the Lawrence Welk show. So that's going to prove to you how old I am. I'm an old fart, but I'm a liberal old fart. That's important for you to know. Okay, this is very common. Take a look at the ad. If if you find something that looks like this with the bubbles, that's the Cody, and these add-ons, take a look at what add-ons they're saying you will get. Because believe it or not, here are five icons or add-ons or <coughs> channels, as you uh, may wish, and most of them don't even work. Okay, so if they say that they have add-ons like NaviX that used to be really a great uh, program, but guess what? It doesn't work anymore. Here, let, let me show you why. I'm going to go ahead and click on it. So supposedly you would be able to get movies, TV shows, everything. Oh, look at this. It's a NaviX error. Why? Because it doesn't work. Another really popular one that will show, uh, be shown on the ads is this one channel or PrimeWire. Okay. Another one, it doesn't work. Mega doesn't work. This only works half time. Uh, you could get some of the um, basketball games, but it's really hard to get the NFL games. And if you can, they come in such poor quality. This is the only application that works. So you're going to immediately end up paying anywhere from $55 to $100 for this. I mean, this, this is just crazy. I mean, I don't know why people would sell this right off the bat for you to for you to get and four out of the five aren't even working. Well, I'm going to tell you why. Because they assume if you're paying under $100 that you know how to program this and add all the add-ons and stuff like that. If you do, let me just stop you here, okay? If you understand this and these applications go down and you know how to re-add them with the newer ones, then you don't need to uh, look at my build and you don't need to buy 
uh, the way that I changed Kodi and made it so user friendly. Save your money because my box is a little bit more expensive than this, but you'll understand why. Um, I'm going to show you my build right now. I would be really um, honored if you go ahead and take a look and tell me if you could see any difference. All right, everybody, this is what my build looks like. This is still Cody. It honestly still has those Lawrence Wilk bubbles, those blue and white ones. They're all here. You just don't see it because I changed the interface. I made it look really modern. I took it out of the 18th century, brought it to the 21st century. Okay. And I just hid those ugly bubbles with pictures. Also, what I did here is these are the category tabs. So this is movies and everything underneath here are all those different icons. They're really icons. You just don't see them because I changed the look on, on it. What can this do? What can the third party apps um, do? Well, for example, let's check this out. If I click on this, as you see, mine's going to be wor uh, working because you're going to see a list of movies. You can actually get first run cinema movies. Why? In the comfort of your own home. You never have to pay to ever go to the movies again. Look at this. This is Rogue One. This just came out on, on Friday. And here it is sitting right here. Here's the, fir, um, the newest kids movie. All different office parties. This is still at the movie theaters. Um, you could watch all this. You could save so much money. How much does it it costs to go to the movies for two people, 60 bucks. And that's, you know, popcorn, the two tickets, uh, the soda pop. So as you can see, there's a lot of benefit to this. Now, let me give you uh, the truth about this. If you watch an in-theater movie or a box office movie, they're pretty much uh, bootleg movies. Maybe the quality isn't that good. But what I've done is anything that says HD, pay-per-view, uh, HD box, those are pay-per-view movies. The movies that you pay for on your cable and satellite provider and you spend anywhere from $3 to $8, forget it. Put that money back in your pocket. That's totally free too. Since it's not uncommon for a channel to go down, what I do is I give tons of different channels. Remember, when you're seeing the five icons, if four out of the five go down, well, you're going to have to figure out and re-add new icons. How are you going to do that if you don't understand how to um, add add-ons or know how to reprogram? Me, I give you so many different movie channels that if one goes down, you won't even miss it. Here, I've even added more movies. Now, on this one, I kind of made it uh, uh, specific. So you can watch James uh, Bond, the gangster movies, musical. For parents, I mean, you have everything for kids. You have cartoons, you have the Disney collection starting from 1937 all the way up to present. It has every single one. I mean, look at this. Look at the money that, that, that you as a parent will be saving and not buying DVDs anymore. I mean, incredible. This is the very first Disney full-length animation. I mean, you, <laughs> how can you go wrong? Sport lovers, you're going to love this. No blackouts. If you live in California and you're a Yankees fan, you will be able to watch every single solitary baseball game uh, live while the Yankees are playing. Playing. That's all you do is just, you know, if there was baseball season and as, if it was playing live, you cl uh, click on it and it's going to give you a list. So right now, let's, although... Nothing probably has started. At least it's going to give us a list of what's playing tonight. So you would be able to see this anywhere, even if it's blacked out in your area. Do you know how much money? This is a sports league pass uh, we're talking about. I also have a search area. You could search by movies, genre, TV shows, you name it. Fabes. The content is so immense on here that you could save anything you want to your favorites and then you go right through it. This is one of my favorite old TV shows. I got TV shows from 50s, 60s, all the way up to the 90s. Let's just go ahead and check out. Look at this. Full Carol Burnett. Oh, who doesn't like the, the Wild Wild West? My, my favorite. The Hollywood Palace. If you want to see really old kind of like variety shows, another great one. Big Valley. All this. Every one of them. Oh, to take the thief. Oh, with Robert Wagner. He was so, so, so dreamy. Just want to show you. You have every episode. 
starting from 101 to, well, over 300. Amazing, huh? Every single episode of every single show that you see here. Premium channels, another way to cut your cable bill. You don't need them anymore. Look, I even have Amazon Prime on here, Cinemax, HBO. Hey, you missed the Game of Thrones? Here's your chance. Now you can watch them. This is the very first one, all the way up to the very last one. Um, there's going to be every episode here. It's, I mean, really, I don't know how you couldn't think of wanting to buy this. Here's what I love, channels. Now you're saying, what's what's so big about getting CBS, C, uh, CW, Fox, all these different cable companies? I'll tell you why. You wait 24 to 48 hours, you're going to see all your favorite shows, every single one of them, com commercial free. No more fast forwarding. That's going to be an ancient word. Every single one of these are absolutely commercial free. I don't even really watch on demand anymore if I miss anything. I can't stand that I can't fast forward through it. And then here I got a little retro for those who love the old movies. I mean, just it, it, it's just amazing. Again, the list of content. Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, put them all together. They're not going to even match the content right here. So, what I'm trying to say to you is you, there are just millions and millions of sellers on the internet when it comes to a jailbroken whatever streaming player. You have to figure out, do you want something really cheap like $50 and then have the bare bones version? Or do you want to spend just a little bit over you know, $100 to uh, around $150 and have something that you could just sit down, use, and and not worry about anything. The most important thing that you have to understand, and I have forgotten to men mention, that this is a video on demand service, meaning nothing is live except for the sports. So there's tons of advantage to the video on demand, mostly because um, there's no commercials. Anyhow, I want to thank you all so much. I hope I made you understand a little bit what a jailbroken streaming player is, what it really looks like naked, and then what it looks like with clothes on. Anyhow, I do sell this. Look at my comment section and uh, feel free to email me and I'll tell you all about my, um, I sell either the Fire Stick or an Android TV box. All right, you guys, you've been great. I can't thank you enough. Hope you love my build. Really enjoyed. And please subscribe to my channel and give me some thumbs up. That always makes me happy. Cody Queen signing off.